Okay. Today is the sixth day of the class. Um, it is March 9th, uh, 2021. And we are going to be continuing our topics from yesterday, uh, which is synonyms and antonyms, um, as well uh, for adjectives specifically, as well as, let's double check this, uh, participles as adjectives. So we were looking at yesterday uh, present participles and past participles. And today we're going to be continuing that as well as the idea of finishing off with, um, our concepts of synonyms and descriptions. Um, we'll just wait a few moments for all the students to be present or for at least more so students to join in and we'll get started. Wow, so still no students, there we go. Jose, good evening. Can you hear me, Jose? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good. All right. So, uh, you like video games, huh? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I like the video game. What games do you like to play? Just Tony Hawk's and Call of Duty. Oh, just, uh, but, no, Call of Duty is the one that's uh, pretty exciting, right? You go into uh, competitions and squads. Yes, yes. That's good. In my case, teacher, in my case, I use the video games just to practice English, right? Some of the, the most of the games come in English, right? And not other languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Most of them come in English. And then not only most come in English, but also the, the speakers, right? People yes, the speakers. Because it's usually everybody in the team, the, the common language is English. Some people speak Spanish, some people speak, you know, Chinese or other languages, but to communicate in general, it has to be in English. Yes, teacher, you're all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you play every day, Jose? Uh, not at all, not at all. Back in the days in my teenager and childhood, yeah, but now not at all. Just when I can, right? And why? Is it because of the work or school or what? Uh, for a study teacher, your your English. Ah, okay, okay. So the studying is what they takes all the time, right? Yes. Yeah, it happens. Okay. All right. I see we have Marcel and Miriam. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Fine. I'm glad to hear you. You guys are having are doing well. Everything was okay today. Yes, all was okay. All right, good, good. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Doing great. Um, just uh, ready to go on with our days. It's amazing how fast the, some activities in the day happen that oof, you don't even realize sometimes all of the things that have to get done. And what about you guys? What's the, what's the thing that you, you do that you like to do the most in the day? What do you enjoy doing the most? I don't have anything in a special. Okay, so every day is boring. Every day is boring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's one option. No problem. Okay. Uh, what about you, Tanya? What do you like doing in, in the day? Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. I went to work and, and only that. <laughs> I, I took a nap. A, a nap. I, ah, took a nap. I took yes. Um, yes, yes, that's I, right. I took a nap. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> that's good. That's. Yeah. It sometimes is necessary to relax and feel good. Is it normal for you to take a nap? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Before I, I never before COVID, I never have the opportunity to take a nap because I was out and uh, giving class or driving or different things. But now with the COVID, yes, sometimes take a nap, thirty minutes, forty minutes, sometimes an hour, but. It's nice. It feels it's different. It's different the lifestyle. Hmm. Well, we're gonna continue a little bit, um, kind of talking about what we uh, continuing about describing uh, things that we were yesterday. We were looking at adjectives. We were looking at participles, present and past, and how they're used. So today we're gonna go ahead and continue. We just want to make sure that it's clear from yesterday. Um, here we have some words that we use and. 
we are looking at synonyms and antonyms. I'm going to pronounce the words just to help you remember the correct pronunciation, and then we'll try to match them, okay? So we have like the word absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. And then on the bottom, we have the four categories, which are with awful, wonderful, stupid, and strange. So let's start off with the words and see if we have them in the correct category. The word absurd, absurd, where do we put that one? Absurd. Uh -huh. What do you think? Where, Marcelo? What is the synonym of absurd? Stupid. Is it? With stupid. Sorry, Marcelo. Say again. Stupid. Stupid. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's a good idea. Okay. What about bizarre? Where do we put bizarre? Strange. Excellent, Ron. Strange. Disgusting? It's like strange. No, not strange. Disgusting. Anybody else? Awful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awful. that's right. It would be what awful. Disgusting is a synonym of awful. Good. A dreadful. Wonderful. Nope. It's actually the no. same. Nope. Not wonderful. Is the same. Oh. Awful. Yeah. Awful. That's right. Dreadful is awful. Okay. What about dumb? Stupid. Correct. Dumb would be with stupid. Mm -hmm. And fabulous? Yep. What did you say? For fabulous, where would we put fabulous? Wonderful. Excellent. Wonderful. Yeah, fabulous would be with wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about fantastic? Wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Right. Excellent. Wonderful. Horrible. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Horrible is with awful. Horrible is the synonym of awful. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Awful. Correct. Awful. Mm -hmm. What about marvelous? How do we use marvelous? Wonderful. Excellent. Yes, it's wonderful. That's right. Mm -hmm. What about odd? Odd. Strange. Correct. Odd would be strange. Outstanding? Wonderful. Good. That's right. Outstanding is wonderful. Ridiculous. Stupid. Correct. Ridiculous would be stupid. Mm -hmm. It's stupid. Yeah. What about silly? What could be silly? Stupid. Correct. Silly would be another way to say stupid. That's right. Terrible? Wonderful. No, not wonderful. Awful. Awful. That's Awful. Right. Awful. Correct. Awful. Unusual. What would be unusual? Strange. 
Yes, it would be strange. Strange. Correct. And the last one, weird. What would be weird? Strange. Strange. That's right. The last two, unusual and weird, would be strange. That's right. Okay. So that's our first part of our class. Um, in a moment, we're going to be learning a little bit about the listening where you have to listen and choose the correct option, okay? Um, and then we're gonna move on to the relative clauses. But the first thing that we want to do is using those vocabulary words that we, we were just reviewing, these, and with your partners, you're going to use each of them in one sentence. So you're going to use the word absurd in a sentence. You're going to use bizarre in a sentence. You're going to use disgusting in a sentence. Each of these you're going to use in a sentence with your partner. You're going to go one and one, and you're going to practice saying them, okay, and using them. You can describe whatever you want. You can describe people, places, things. They're all, the idea is to use them. Is that okay? Any questions? One sentence for, for each uh, word. Correct, Rondo. One sentence for each word. So I'll give you an example to make sure that it's clear. Okay. So imagine, Rondo, you and I are partners. So if you make a sentence with absurd, then I make a sentence with bizarre. If I make a sentence with bizarre, then you make a sentence with disgusting. And we take turns. One sentence you, one sentence me. Okay. 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 All, right. All right, great. So let's make our groups. And remember, one in one with our partners. So we want to use all of those words. If you don't have the computer, remember, it's always in the WhatsApp. It's in the WhatsApp from yesterday. Medium, Jose, you guys okay? Um. I start. Hi, Tania. Hi. Me escucha. Yes. Is that you or me? Yes. <laughs> es que tengo problemas. I have a problem with internet. <laughs> okay. okay. Ah, oh, Tanya, you see? Yes, she's having problems with the internet. Mm. If you want, Tanya, I send you to another group and then uh, we figure out what to do with her, okay? Right. Yeah, that way you don't waste too much time waiting for because we don't know how how bad the problem is. Awful. 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 Dreadful. 
Pero una oración puede ser, una oración puede ser this place is disgusting. The pueblo café is disgusting. This place is awful. <laughs> awful. Yo no veo palabra awful. Dreadful. Awful. Es que todas las demás son sinónimos. Horrible, bizarre, terrible, weird, awful. Son significados parecidos. Entonces, una oración por cada. Otra, palabra. otra. Number four. Interesting, ridiculous. Um, exciting. Repeat again the. <laughs> yeah, yes okay. or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is number And now, Mar Marcela, what do you think? Ridiculous. Are you okay? Marcela, Tania? Yes, ridiculous. Okay. Same. And that's correct. We have 10. And now the sentence. The sentence is with the, with the appetite. Next on this page, teacher. No, I, I, it's not next. I, you you have to do the first activity. You didn't do the first activity. Was the sentences? Okay. Remember the. The first activity was the 3.6. Yes, 3.6. Uh-huh. So the, the first, it, it's okay. It, you, you did the, the second activity first. It's no problem. But the important is those two activities. So if you did the listening, now it's necessary to do the speaking. Uh. The speaking is that the vocabulary, you have to make one sentence with each word. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Play. Yeah. 
just uh, it, the the sentence. Hmm. Uh, for example, is um, absurd. Uh, the praise of pool is absurd. <laughs> yes. Absurd. Absurd. Right. Absurd. Absurd. Mm -hmm. That no, you you have to pronounce the D stronger because you only finish with the R. You say absurd. But it's not a. It's absurd. D. Try it again, Tanya. Absurd. Absurd. Um, so so that you need to. The D has to be a little bit stronger. But that that is the idea. The idea is with your partners, you make one sentence for each of those words. Uh, teacher is, uh, for example. The movie of Jim Carrey are very dumb. Correct. That's right. That's a good usage. Mm -hmm. The apple uh, towel right, is marvelous. It, sorry, Marcela, it's difficult to understand you because your your voice is cut out. Can you repeat it? Marcela? I think maybe Marcela has some, some technical problems. So, okay, okay Sylvain, you and, and Tanya, you can continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next, disgusting. Disgusting is... Asqueroso. pero, ajá. Es sinónimo de... The awful to me. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la oración usando the casting o repugnante? The casting es más cae, cae mal, va. <laughs> I know um I know a disgusting a disgusting friend conozco un amigo repugnante I, I know a disgusting friend Una más. Seguimos con. Bradford. ¿Sabes qué Bradford? Bradford. No. ¿Qué Bradford? Bradford. Es, es también sinónimo de, de terrible, de awful. Lo que no sé en qué contexto se puede usar Dreadful. Dreadful, de casting. 
were horrible. That folder. Well, so when you're looking at the word disgusting, disgusting is more like for a uh, food or describing people can be disgusting. Uh, describing people. Dreadful, yeah. But dreadful is more describing situations. Mm. So, for example, uh, when you talk about the food, you say, "How? Hey, how is the pupusa?" Mm. It's disgusting, wow. mm. right? But when you talk about the situation, for example, oh, you know, Ephraim's uh, had an accident. Ah, uh, is not disgusting. It's dreadful. It's bad in this way. Mm. Okay, disgustingness for, mm. for example, for fools. That that you you don't like some foods, and you says it's disgusting for me. For example. Correct. Correct. But mm -hmm. and like and like you say, your your friend, you can describe a person. So your friend can be disgusting, but dreadful. No, dreadful is more for situations or for things that happen. They they are dreadful. Mm -hmm. If you know, Ronald, if you okay. know for the things when I hear here, I think that dreadful is more if someone leaving the project, right? If you say this guy has a new dreadful, something like that, I don't know if that's correct in the key situation. Can you say it again, Jose? It, it, there's a lot of uh, interference on your microphone. Que si yo puedo ocupar el graphics, yo quiero describir la situación de alguien que vive en los proyectos. Que si vive en qué? Ah, the situation is dreadful, not the person. So, for example, if he lives in the project, oh, that okay. is dreadful. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Podemos decir de the party. Oh no. The yeah. The past election <laughs> were were dreadful. Podemos decir. Así. Okay. The past election were dreadful. Las elecciones pasadas estuvieron horribles. Horribles, pero de situación, de, de situation. Okay, okay. The past election were dreadful. Y puedo decir, I'm the casting for, for, for seafood, for example. Correct, correct. Only that. So, for example, when you say the past elections were dreadful, that's uh -huh. fine. But uh, normally, you you need to explain why. What made it dreadful? What was the situation? Mm -hmm. You see, or, or like when I say about the about uh, Jaime's mother, okay, uh, or about Jaime having an accident, I explain why it's dreadful. But mm -hmm. I cannot say I cannot say only uh, the. Or or the yeah. the uh -huh. selection was dreadful um, for the results, for example. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 like that. That would be correct. Yeah, because there were some problems in, in some places. Correct. Okay. Don't, boys. Ah, don't. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. The this movie is silly and ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Okay, Net, Yunusha. 
Wunderschön. Hm. These both boats were unusual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. de, de votar, eh, teacher, eh, uh -huh. votes. Vo voting? The action is voting. Voting. Mm -hmm. Net. So what is the Daniel. sentence? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a uh, the, the the last uh, when I was chill, I chill. The people said me where. So so good. The idea is correct, Sylvie. Only the pronunciation. When I was a child, mm -hmm. the people called me weird. Uh, called me. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yes. Call. <laughs> Me where? Okay. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Finish. Right. Excellent. Any questions on any of those? Not sure. No. All right. Great. Hey, hey Marcia, you're back. Oof, today is difficult, the internet for you. Yes, <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, 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 I see that. All right, don't worry. Well, we just finished up the idea for those that were the synonyms and uh, of the words that we learned. And now we're going to be looking at relative clauses. Um, relative clauses are the words that we use to combine sentences, to give a bigger description. So I'm going to show you a small video of relative clauses, and then I'll give you more explanation after the video. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative Clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Okay. So what we want to look at is the fact of... An actor the... that won two Oscars. There. Okay. So we can see that we're using the word who or the relative pronoun who to join two sentences when we talk about a person. 
we use the relative pronoun which to join two sentences when we talk about the thing, okay? Now, the good thing is that with the word that, that can be used for both, who, for people and for things, okay? Now, here they explained a little bit, but they went very fast. So what do the two relative clauses do? The main idea is that they join the sentences. They have two things, right? Uh, the man uh, and the, or the movie or the things that we're talking about, and then they join with the subject. So here we put, he's an actor, but we don't know who, okay? We don't know who we're talking about. So we need more information. And another information about this person is that he won two Oscars. So that's how we use it. We use it to join two sentences so we can get a more specific information about the person. Then we use, as we learned, there were three of those words, who, that, and which. Okay. I don't know why this one. The clauses are joined. Okay. Okay. So we use the word who or sorry, which, let me go back just a little bit, it seems. It's used to join classes about things. That. I don't want to. Who is used to. Okay, here we go. Because they went through this very quickly. So they have the word who. And we use the word who to join when we're talking about people. So he likes the woman, but we don't know which woman. There's a lot of women in the world. So which one? Ah, we use who to give more specific information. Who? The one who lives next door. So that's how we join. He likes the woman who lives next door. So now we know specifically who he's talking about. We join classes if about we people. Use another word, we which use is the word used. Which. Okay. This is when we're talking about things. It's a movie. But there are many movies, so how do you know? Uh, it's a movie which we enjoy very much. It's kind of when we're talking about it and you don't remember the name of things. And you say, oh, it's that place. It's that thing that, that we use or where we went. Or, you know, that's how you use these. That's the purpose of the relative pronouns, to be able to give more specific details. Okay? So join classes about things. And then the that one, is you. the word that. Okay? to talk about people or things. You can use it for both. You can use it for people or for things. It's just giving that extra information, okay? So you bought a car, great. Which car? Or what's more information about the car? Ah, it's very fast. Or she has a sister, okay, great. And is there anything special about the sister? Yeah, that the sister is a writer, okay? She Or you can say maybe she has three sisters, right? So she has a sister who is a writer, or she has a sister that is a writer. Both forms are correct. So our main idea is we use these words, who, that, or which, to join sentences. The purpose of joining the sentences is to give more information about it. Of course, there are other relative pronouns, but that's not the ones that we're going to see today. The ones because we do include more relative pronouns, but the ones that we're looking are those three. Any questions about who, that, or which? What, what, what is the specific moments in the, in the use uh, that for people or things? What is the difference in who for people or which for, for things? Okay, so who is only for people, which is only for things, and that is for people or things. But what is, what is the uh, what is the difference? Things uh, what is the difference context about? No, no, no. It's just different that? options. Ah, different options. Yes. So who you can ah, okay. only use? You can only use who. When you're talking about things, uh, about people, sorry. So who can only be used about people? Which can only be used when you're talking about things. But ah, okay. you can use that to talk about people or things. Is your your choice which one you want to use. Okay, thanks. You're welcome.
Anybody else? Any other questions? Not the chair. Okay, great. So if there are no questions, what are we going to do? Well, with our partners, we have two exercises, right? We have a little bit of a reading and we have a, a knowledge check. And let's see what we have here. Uh, ah, yes, thank you for your question, Marce. Yes, it will always be in the middle of the sentence. You never will be beginning the sentence with it, okay? So, let's see what else. Okay, perfect, all right. So, uh, sorry, we were going, let me go back. I accidentally hit the wrong one. So we're going to practice with our partners on 3.10, the relative pronouns. So what are we going to do? Well, we have to write one sentence. We have to combine the sentences into one, okay? So we have to use it. Uh, we, we're going to use who or that uh, or which, okay, to combine the sentences. And as an example, we have number one that is there. Who is Ang Lee? Okay, that is the question. The answer or the statement is he's a movie director. He's made the film Hulk. So these two sentences, he's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. We need to join them into one sentence. How can we join it into one sentence? Well, we can say he's a movie director who made the film Hulk, or we can use he's a movie director that made the film Hulk. So we take the two sentences and then we make them into one, okay? That's the idea. We take all of our sentences that are here, the two sentences for the four exercises, and we make them into one sentence. Is that okay? Okay. All right, great. If, we, if you have a time and you finish, then we can go on to the reading. But it usually takes a little bit of time to get them correct. So uh, let's work with our partners and see what we can do. Hey, problems, still problems for the platform. What happened? You still, they, they never answered you? No. Well, he disappeared. Hey, Ronald, you still have problems with the platform? I don't have access still. And, the, and they never responded to you? No. No, okay. No, nobody responds for my problems. See? One moment. Hey, hang on. I see if I can help you out. Mm -hmm. And you wrote to uh, Jonathan, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I, um, in my platform, only, only I, I see the the past courses, mm -hmm. but no this course. Only intermedio modulo dos. Okay. Uh, yes, this. Eh? Did you see? One moment. Uh huh. Yeah, only that. Only, okay. only that. No intermedio. Okay. I don't know what is the problem. The main problem is that Inglés Corporativo no, res no responds my, my questions. Mm -hmm. But it's very necessary for to do the exercise. Okay.
Let me just finish up. I'm sending them right now. Okay. Yes. Ronald Osvaldo Quesada Coronado, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. I'll let them know. Okay. You guys can go ahead and continue then. And I sent the information. And tomorrow they should be contacting you then. Okay. I, I let them know. I don't know why they haven't responded before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. of rights of the Caribbean. Okay. Yes. It's an action movie. It stars Johnny People. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it mm -hmm. it's an action movie who star Johnny Depp. Yes, it's An action movie. Movie. Who is a star? Johnny Depp. Johnny no, Depp. El, it, it. Creo que no. Race. Yes. Johnny. Tip. What's Chicago? It's a musical about a girl. She becomes a celebrity. Okay, it's musical about a girl. It's a musical about, about a girl. But that becomes. That becomes, uh huh. That becomes. A celebrity. Celebrity. Okay. Next. Did you enjoy John Grish Hans latest novel? Yes. That's a really good. Uh, um, it, it was a great book. Okay. Yes. It was a great book. That. Yes. No. no? Uh, which? Ah, okay. Which which was which was hard to put, to down. put down. Check. The number the father of <laughs> <laughs> ah, <come> on. <laughs> what happened? The boy. If, uh, the point in in the uh, let me see let me see let me see English okay 
Let me shift. Okay. That is the problem. Oh. That's the problem. Okay. Can you see the uh, problem? Uh. Yes. Come on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, delete, 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 delete. What is my delete? Okay. okay. Yes, it was. Okay. Change this. Which? Which? Mm -hmm. Option moving who? Star. Star. Johnny Depp. Point. Point. Mm -hmm. No. No. This is the capital. Uh, no, no, no. No. It's no. Mm -hmm. Teacher. I yeah. need help. Oh. Well, uh, it's not who because we're talking about the movie. Ah, okay. Uh, it's about the movie. Yeah, that's okay. the first uh -huh. part. It's a movie. Uh, okay. That. That. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, that's okay. 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 And, uh, and it was a great book. Mm -hmm. That. No, it's okay, which, but it was a great book that was hard to put down. Come on. <laughs> yes, I did. The I? See. Wait. The yes. It? Yeah, that's, that's okay. it. That's okay. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay. Ha, you see? Oof. Oof. <laughs> did you, Tanya, did you do it? Because you're going to have to do it in your platform. That way you take a, a screenshot or a picture. Yes. And you, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay, good. Tanya? Hey. Yes. Bring a screen. Take a picture. <laughs> a picture. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, and let her put the answer. Finish. Okay. Selvina and Tanya, it's very strange, but it seems that the other students have uh, problems today with, very strange. <laughs> with, with the internet because the other groups disappear. The <laughs> <laughs> Disappear the people, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's time to work, they disappeared. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the wind. Maybe lose the connection. <laughs> I'm not I'm sure. Not mm -hmm. But I, I, it's good to see that you understood how to use the relative pronouns. Okay. Are there any questions about the relative pronouns on how to use them or, or anything? No teacher, no. only uh, we need practice this lesson. Yeah, so let's practice a little bit, okay? Let's try with the word who. So, Selvina, Tanya, give me a sentence with who. With who? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio is the actor who participated in this movie. Okay, that's fine. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Tanya, try one with uh, which? No, okay. All right. Remember, which is, which is for things, which is for things, Tanya. Okay. Uh, so 
uh, which and that, well, are for things, remember which specifically things and that for who and people. But don't worry, Tanya, don't worry. Uh, tomorrow we're going to practice some more. We're going to pause right now and we'll continue again tomorrow. Okay? okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you, guys. Have a good night. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.